heart valve disease is uh, any process that, that affects your heart valves that would result in you having to have them treated or replaced either by medicine or surgery. Typical uh, symptoms that folks may experience are shortness of breath. Um, there are other symptoms that people can experience such as chest pain. Uh, signs of heart valve disease might be folks that develop congestive heart failure. Some can be hereditary, some can be congenital, meaning they were born with the valve abnormality. Others develop um, degeneration of the valve over time. And then others will develop it as a as secondary to lifestyle, and those are the unfortunate folks that are, uh, get infections of their valves. The diagnosis most commonly comes from their primary physician or from their cardiologist. The treatment initially usually comes from those two uh, folks working in tandem and then eventually when the heart valve disease whether it be an obstructing valve problem or a leaking valve problem eventually those folks come to the surgeon when uh, medication medical therapy no longer uh, helps them as well as it needs needs to be the goal is to try to um, repair any valve where possible but in the aortic position that's a that's a valve under a great deal of pressure and oftentimes repairs don't work durably. So we most commonly have to replace the aortic valve either with a tissue or a mechanical valve depending on the patient's age and risk factors. In mitral surgery there's an ongoing push to increase the uh, frequency of repairing these valves as opposed to replacing those valves. The reason being uh, repair preserves the strength of the heart. It also avoids using anticoagulation, Coumadin. Um, it provides the surgeon the opportunity to go back in the future without uh, dramatically increasing their risk statistically of morbid events surrounding the time of surgery. Um, and provides long-term options for replacement that simplifies a follow-up operation. The heart, um, uh, like any pump, will um, age and, and wear out. So the goal is to replace those inefficient valves before there's any detriment to the strength of the heart. So just because the valve disease may not be advanced doesn't mean that the heart disease isn't advanced and need replacing earlier in its stage to prevent further detriment to the strength of the heart.